Gentlemen, boys and girls, to a Quincy Access television presentation of high school sports. Tonight, we are at North Quincy High School's Walter Cap Bryan Gymnasium for the opening game for the North Quincy Red Raiders in their white uniforms. They are playing the visitors from Plymouth South High School who have had their first game uh, on the previous week, uh, losing to Duxbury. Uh, North Quincy is a very young team. They have one senior, and that is Fallon Hoban. She is their captain. She is their leading scorer. Uh, she was a Patriot League All-Star last year in a Patriot League All-Scholastic. So uh, some of the burden here is gonna fall early in the season on Fallon Hoban. But uh, North Quincy has some uh, very interesting uh, other players. We'll do the national anthem right now to take a pause. Number three, Sarah Kennedy. I'm sorry, introducing the Plymouth South players. Number four, Brady Quinn. Sarah Kennedy is number three. Uh, Bradley Quinn, Quig, I mean, is, is number four. Number 10, Kat Sullivan. Number 10, Kat Sullivan, she's the captain. Number 21, Alyssa King. Number is Alyssa King. Number 24, Alyssa Briggs. Number 24 is Andrews, Alyssa Briggs. Matt Delavabu is the coach, third season at Plymouth South. Waiting for North Quincy. Again, North is only going to start one senior. And that will be Fallon Holden. And now, the starting line of New York, North Quincy Rangers. Number five, Kira Sleeman. And five is the guard, Kira Sleeman. Back after a year off. Number 10, Alex Abrahamovich. Alex Abrahamovich, a junior forward. Number 11, Bridget Capone. Number 11 is Bridget Capone, sophomore forward. Number 15, Ava Bryan. Number 15 is a freshman, Ava Bryan. And number 12, And number 12 is Fallon Holden. Senior captain. And now we'll pause for the play of the national anthem. And now, at this time, yeah, you all please stand or move your back for the playing of our national anthem to be performed by the combined 20 North Wind East Park. choirs at North Quincy and Quincy High School and it's the best I've heard ever um, again North is uh, coming into the season uh, with some expectations uh, to be better than they were last year they had a rough year last year but uh, this year's group seems to be a promising young group uh, there are a lot of freshmen a lot of uh, 
underclassmen who uh, actually can play the game and uh, can play it at a high level. So it'll be interesting to see how they approach this first game, uh, being their first one uh, for real at the high school level. Mike Andrews and uh, Rich, I forget his last name, are the two officials tonight. Now there is no jump ball this year, so uh, it will start on the sideline. Fallon Holden will inbound the ball, and Kira Sleeman will, and Plimisol tries to jump the, uh, the ball, handler. Sleeman does a nice job. Uh, Bahamovich up top over to Fallon Holden. Fallon with a long three, she misses that. She gets the offensive rebound, gets knocked to the floor. And it's, uh, no, no balls can be taken out under the basket. It's another rule they've made up this year. Ball goes to Hoven, in the corner to Capone. Sleeman gets the ball over the top, throws it into the post, and the ball gets deflected and stolen away. And here comes Plymouth South. Cat Sullivan, number 10, is their best player. And early on, we have a foul. Let's see who they uh, whistled that one on. Can't see it. I think it was uh, either Fallon Holman or Ava Bryan. And that'll send Sarah Kenny to the line for two shots. And Kenny rims out the first. Sarah is a sophomore. And it can only be two people in the lane if you see that. She makes the first and Plymouth South gets the early 1-0 one zero, one zero lead. And uh, North will be probing to see what defense Plymouth South is in. Plymouth South loves to change defenses. Right now they're a man to man. Colin Holman gets in the lane. Ball gets kicked. Uh, Ava Bryan dives on the floor to Alex Abrahamovich. Abrahamovich puts it up and I don't know what the call is. I think it's a, a play of control foul. Apparently Alex came out with her right arm and, and pushed off. So Plymouth South will get their second possession. Almost intercepted by Sleeman. That's, uh, and Sleeman comes from behind and makes the steal. And I don't know what that call was. I think what it was is she made the steal and she made a travel. Both in a man to man. Going up top is Sullivan. Taking the ball to the basket and that's stolen away. By Fallon Hoban. Nice pass inside to Abrahamovich. I'm sorry, that's Bridget Coleman. Bridget Capone. Get it right. And again, the ball has to be taken out on the side. Plymouth South in a 2 3 zone. North running a wrong out of bounds play. Early in the season here. Here's Hoban for a three. And she misses that. Offensive rebound to Sleeman. Well, some full quick pressure here, man to man. Open on, uh, on Kenny. Number four, Braley Quigg, started from last year. Oh. The South has six seniors. There's a deflection and a steal. Nice pass into Ava Bryan. And she misses the left hand layup and gets a jump ball out of it. Alternating possession will give the ball to the Red Raiders. 
Oban will put the ball in play. Oban's being replaced by number 22, and that's Molly Tolan. She's a freshman, freshman guard. I think uh, Val is having some difficulty breathing through her mask. Tolan kicks it back out. Sleeman up top, dribble drives, gets to the lane, gets fouled. So Kira Sleeman will have the first opportunity to get North Quincy back on the board today. Neither uh, offense has uh, uh, been able to uh, penetrate the other's defense, so. Sleeman nails the first. Really worked on her foul shooting uh, in the two years since she's been a player at North. She started as a freshman at point guard. And here she is back again. And she knew she missed it, and then she violated. So game's tied at one. Don't change the channel. It's going to get better. Nice defense by... Uh, Tolan and Sleeman. And that ball gets thrown away. Nice pressure by the Red Raiders. And uh, Bailey Quigg uh, threw the ball a little bit too long over the head of uh, her Plymouth South teammate. Here comes Sleeman. And uh, South is in a man-to-man -man again. See what North is going to call. Deflection. Sleeman gets swallowed up in the paint. Tips it away, and we get it, get it back. Back up to Tolan. Tolan in the lane. She puts up a runner. She misses. Offensive rebound by Kira Sleeman. And uh, Sleeman has three of the first red rate of uh, points. A nice offensive rebound by Kira. Sleeman has three. Again, uh, South and a man to man. Ball to the high post. Pass off to Abrahamovic. Over to Capone. Capone puts it on the floor. Finds Dallin Hoban in the corner. Offensive rebound by Capone. She gets fouled on the putback. So Bridget Capone, sophomore forward, uh, who was third leading rebounder last year for North Quincy, goes to the free throw line for two. And she makes the first, that's a 4-1 North Quincy lead. Kira Sleeman with the only basket for either side on the offensive putback. And then we have a substitute. And into the game is number 52. I believe that is Caroline O'Donnell. She's also a freshman. She's a center. The defense by Abrahamovic standing. Again, uh, Kat Sullivan, number 10 for Plymouth South is their... Um, Leading scorer, she had 19 last week against Duxbury. So uh, North is gonna focus on her for sure. They solve at the top, she gets shut off by the defense. Long three, back rims it. Offensive rebound to Plymouth South. That was Sarah Kenny with the three. And here's another three that gets nothing. Molly Tolan with the rebound. break and Sleeman has her pass deflected. Like a travel. No call. That was Paige Kunkel who made the basket. So it's 4-3 North Quincy. And the 
foul whistled. And someone on the South Squad gets uh, whistled for a push. Steal by Sullivan and uh, Capone gets whistled for the foul on the push. 50-50 ball. Hoven back in the game. Good pressure defense there by Fallon Hoven. And she jumps up in the air and lands on uh, the South player's back. Which is a foul. So, Cat Stevens will inbound it for Plymouth South. Capone almost gets a deflection. There's a handoff to Sullivan. Sullivan will touch the ball a lot in this game. Nice defense down low by Bridget Capone. Straight up in the air. And there's Pierce Sleeman with a runner. And lays it up and in. North does a great job of finding the open person on the, on the break. And it gets a, there's a tip from behind and it goes off of Plymouth South, I believe. So Sleeman has five quick points here for North Quincy. Great debut for her coming back after a year off. Bahamovich. Looks for uh, Fairbank, uh, for O'Donnell, and throws it over her head. It's ripped through by Sullivan. She gets fouled. Bridget Capone a little bit late getting there to shut it off. Ball taken out of the side, fresh 30 for Plymouth South. In the game for Plymouth South is number 20, Raina Butler. She is a sophomore. There's a three. Ball is ripped down by Fallon Hoban. Great defensive rebound by Fallon. And 6-3, Red Raiders. Really in the shot clock here. And we've lost our camera. There it is. There's O'Donnell in the lane. Off the backboard, misses. Keeps the ball alive. And Sleeman drives into a a bunch of players and uh, the ball gets turned over. So North has already gone to their bench twice. They've brought in a freshman, um, O'Donnell, and Mary Beth Smith, a sophomore. There's O'Donnell up top. Good athlete. Outstanding softball player. And she comes down trying to block the shot. And she gets whistled for the foul. That's going to be Bailey Quigg going to the free throw line for two. And no one in the lane for a shot. And here come uh, substitutions for the Red Raiders. Uh, Ava Bryan back in the game, as is Molly Tolan. Tolan is number 10. Bryan is number 15. Interesting aside is that uh, Ava Bryan's great-grandfather was Walter Cap Bryan. And the gymnasium is named after her great-grandfather. So what a special treat for her to be playing in the gymnasium named after her great-grandfather. 
by Ava Bryan. Over with another defensive rebound. Oh, pushing the ball up the floor. Looks for Bridget Capone. Bridget Capone lays it off the glass and misses. Nice take. Nice block by Brian. Hands are straight up in the air. Molly Tolan on the, on the ground for a loose ball. So we have uh, two freshmen in the game for North Quincy. Ball's thrown away, taken up by Hoban. And Hoban turns it right back over. Notice in the uh, on the coaching sideline as Mary Beth Smith comes back in the game. Um, the the uh, players are seated up in the stands, so they are socially distanced. The coaches are on the floor. This is our, I think this is Rihanna Butler. And she misses her first on a one-on-one. -on -one. Swing up top. There's a cutter. Reflected. Again, Mary Beth Smith in the game, number 13. Up top to Tolan. Tolan drives the lane, she gets fouled. And I think that's in the act of shooting, so her, uh, Molly will be going to the free throw line for two. A bunch of these girls played for Mark Janig in the uh, Travel League, and uh, they were very successful. Played a lot of games. Molly gets her first varsity point, rolling in the uh, front end of a free throw. Molly's a good shooter. There you go, Molly. And he makes a second. 10-3, North Quincy. Open up a seven-point lead here on the Panthers. Panthers beat North both times last year. Long three again by Sarah Kenny that rimmed out, and North Quincy ends the quarter with a seven-point lead. Uh, thanks to Kira Sleeman, who led the way for the Red Raiders with five points. Bridget Capone had one. Ava Bryan had a deuce. And Molly Tolan had two free throws. Now, in between periods this year, they're going to give teams two minutes and 30 seconds. Um, basically, to take a mass break and to uh, kind of catch their breath. Uh, it's difficult to play with those masks on when you're running up and down the floor. Um, you can see Kira Sleeman on, uh, just walking, uh, walking around so that uh, she can stay loose. And Again, North, uh, North has done a pretty good job this first quarter. Certainly a lot different than last year when they uh, they fell behind Plymouth South very early. Could never, ever catch up. Um, matter of fact, uh, the, the score at the end of the first quarter last year at North Quincy was 24-2 to in favor of Plymouth South. So you can see the turnaround this year uh, with this team in terms of... Um, the way they get after it and uh, the way they play the game. Of course, North does uh, miss a lot of those seniors. 
Ashley Caldwell, Amanda Helmuth, Isabella Thong, Phoebe Johnston, Alexa Radzik. Uh, all kids who stuck out the program for four years uh, through good times and bad. So uh, they're appreciated. Uh, but now we have a new wave of kids coming through. And uh, I think they're going to be a special group. Molly Tolan will inbound the ball to Kira Sleeman. Uh, Fallon Holman's on the bench right now. And again, South changes defense. They're in 2 3. North recognizes it, runs their zone offense, uh, comes up short from the corner. And there's a nice steal by Tolan. She finds Sleeman up and under, and no call. trying to push up it's a, it's a steal that steal was by Ava Bryant Ava at the top of the key she tries to force it in down low to Capone and we have a jump ball and that's going to go to uh, put himself Ava passed up a nice little shot in the lane. She is a very good shooter. Nice defense by Tolan. Yeah. Great job on Cat Sullivan. And Abrahamovich did a tremendous job in the first quarter. Nice box out there. Here's a pump. Tolan. It's the ball up the floor. And finds Sleeman again. Sleeman uh, benefiting from. Uh, Fast break tonight. She has seven. Nice pass by Molly Toland. Getting her head up and uh, getting the ball down the floor. That's a flash cut. Not taken away. Good contest there by Molly Toland. A dribble handoff. Shut off uh, by Mary Beth Smith. And uh, it's just such a nice job. The girl got called for a travel. Dangerous pass across the basket there. Guard has to go away and come back. Bailey Quigg covering Sleeman. Sleeman gets the ball. Goes over uh, Mary Beth Smith. Kick back out to Sleeman. And Sleeman says, we're going to settle this thing down. And she calls a play. Flynn, and Flynn. Ava Bryant is a long three by Molly Tolan. She drains it. Molly Tolan playing great first half. Nice, nice find by Ava Bryant on the assist. And travel. I don't know what that was. North up 15-3. Sleeman. Looks for Ava Bryant on the release to the basket. A little bit overthrown. And that looked like a nice offensive take by Sleeman, no call. Nice crossover by Kira. Timeout, North Quincy. Timeout at the 5-10 mark here of the second quarter. But the Red Raiders do an incredible job on defense. They have held um, Plymouth South scoreless the first three minutes of the second quarter. Again, South got all three of their points in the first, first quarter. They scored the first point of the game on a free throw by Sarah Kenny. And then um, Paige Kunkel made a hoop, and that's it. Uh, their leading scorer, Kat Sullivan, has been shut out. 
Again, Abrahamovich did a great job in the first quarter. And Mary Beth Smith, here in the second quarter with Molly Toland, have also done a great job on her. So, uh, again, defense is showing the way for the Red Raiders. You can almost flip the score from last year, where, uh, again, North trailed by over 20 in, the, in that first uh, quarter. The only girls we haven't seen action now for the Red Raiders in this uh, first half are Brianna White. Brianna White is a transfer from uh, Matignon High School. Um, she's about six feet, and uh, she moves pretty well for a big kid. And she's a junior. So I'm sure we'll see her before the half is over. Miss Sleeman. Fallon Holden back in the game. So North has two shooters here. There's Toland up top, 22. Nice pass to Fallon Holden. Hoban takes the bump, no call. And then has the ball stripped. Apparently they called a uh, foul on, Ho on uh, a Plymouth Salt player, so Fallon will go to the free throw line with an opportunity to put some points on the board. And she misses the first. And she front rims the second. Near steal by Tolan. Ball in the corner, jump shot. Back rims and rolls around and Capone with another big rebound. Again, Bridge, the third leading rebound of the last year as a freshman. Is Hoban with a long three, and that misses. Right on the rim. Nice help by Capone. And his drew along the baseline. And Sleeman picks up the rebound, turns it over on a pick from behind. There's um, Kenny up top, the ball. She's a freshman. I mean, she's a sophomore, my bad. And a flash cut across it, uh, Molly Tolan's chest. Gets away with it. And uh, North clears the rebound. Ava Bryan pulls it down. Gets it to Kira Sleeman. Sleeman's look good. It, just, it doesn't even appear she's had a year off. Gets in the lane, misses the shot. She thought she got fouled. Nice defense there again by Fallon Hoban. Bryan contests the shot. Molly Tolan comes up with the uh, off, uh, defensive rebound. And North will once again have an opportunity to score. Last two trips on the floor have come up with nothing. And Bridget is, Capone is cutting in to the lane and uh, Sleeman thought she was gonna stay out to the wing. Ball gets turned over again. North is hurting themselves with turnovers this first half. Fallon Holden hasn't scored a point yet. We'll wait till she gets going. That follows on Ava Bryan. And this is going to send Kat Sullivan to the line. Sullivan's been quiet this whole first half. And she makes the first. A lot of these kids played with uh, Sullivan in AAU. Into the game is Caroline O'Donnell replacing Ava Bryan, who I believe picked up her third foul. And Sullivan misses the second. O'Donnell with the rebound, quick outlet to Kira Sleeman. Oh, oh. 
Ball to Hoban. Ball pass over the top for McDonald. And Hoban makes the steal off the errant pass. Gets the hoop and she's gonna go to the free throw line to see if she can make a three point play. Nice hustle play by Fallon Hoban. First two points of the 2020-2021 season for Fallon, who led the team in scoring last year with 259 points. And transfer from Quincy High, came over last year and uh, did a great job. Another rebound by Capone. It's a little Sleeman. He's holding up top, running the point. Over to Tolan. Nice fake by Fallon Holman and a runner in the lane. And she comes up with two. That's four points, four quick points for Fallon Holman as North goes up 20 to four. I think that was um, Kira Flynn who snuck in there for a hoop. Oh, well, a little disorganized. Ball to O'Donnell. Oh, in and out. Good shot. And. Uh, Sullivan bounces the ball on the baseline. So it's gonna be North Quincy ball on the sideline. Lob pass over the top to Caroline. And off the glass and misses. And she gets called for a foul. That's a frustration foul. Felt she should have made it, and uh, she missed. And coming in the game for the Red Raiders is Brianna White, the transfer from Mat Matignon High School, who played for Joey D. Sarcina. Joey D. Sarcina played at but UMass Amherst. He was a uh, Hall of Famer both in baseball and in basketball. Played with Dr. J up there and uh, he had the pleasure of coaching Brianna over at Matignon. Uh, Joey's still there, he's the uh, principal there as well. He's a cousin of Gary DeSassina, uh, who was a major league baseball player. And uh, Kira Flynn comes up short in the two free throws. Is Tolan. Gets the ball to Hoban, and she drains a three. Right at the top. I just stepped right into it. Nice, nice find by Molly Tolan. Nice rebound by Brianna White. Over, over to Tolan. Both has opened up a 23 to 6 lead. High screen and roll. And she's gonna get, Brianna's gonna get whistled for a, a moving screen and I didn't see it. Fallon Holman went the other way. Usually when a, a kid gets called for a moving screen, they're stepping out towards the person in the direction where the person is going, the ball handle. Not the case there. Nice, nice defense up top by Mary Beth Smith. Mary Beth has done a, a lot of little things really well. Nice dribble to the hole by Kira Flynn. Closes the gap 23-8 with a 15. Up top to Tolan, not being very patient. Hoban. 
puts the ball up and gets the roll. And that's the end of the half. Well done, well executed by North Quincy. As Fallon Hoban in the second quarter uh, came alive and had 10 points. And North Quincy has now increased their lead to 23 to 8. 15 points over the Plymouth South Panthers. And you can see the, um, the new Yaku logo on the screen. He's dressed up like a Patriot. We lost him. But uh, going forward, that's going to be the new mascot for the Red Raiders. He is still Yaku, uh, but he doesn't have the feathers and the, uh, and the moccasins and all the Indian garb. Um, so, uh, Dr. Kikubian and uh, the mayor put that together uh, last summer and came up with that rendition, and uh, that's what they're going to use going forward. We'll wrap up the uh, first half scoring totals for you. Again, uh, Fallon Holman with 10 first half points is the leading scorer for the Red Raiders. Kira Sleeman uh, had seven, including the first, um, first five for the Red Raiders. Bridget Pone had a foul shot. Ava Bryan had a, uh, a hoop, her first two varsity points. And Molly Tolan came up big. She had uh, two free throws and a long three. Uh, and that's a total for North Quincy in the first half of 25. On the other side, Sarah Kenny had one. Cash Sullivan, their leading scorer, had three. Paige Kunkel had two. Uh, Allison Canero, I'm sorry, she did not score. Uh, Kira Flynn had two. And that is a total of eight points. As Plymouth South only managed three baskets. Three baskets and two free throws for the Panthers. And there's a buzzer to uh, signal both teams back to, uh, for the second half. North sitting in a good spot. first at the beginning of the second half. Let's see who uh, the starters are. It's going to be Molly Tolan still in the ball game for North Quincy, the freshman guard. Fallon Holman, number 12, the captain. Uh, Brianna White stays in the game. The junior center is now at the top of the key. Ball goes over to Tolan. Nice dribble drive baseline by Fallon Hoban. She adds to her total. She now has 12 points. And North Quincy sleeping on the transition. And Plymouth South gets an easy two. off the glass. Two points for Brianna. Nice little jump hook. We 
Rebound by White. Brianna White. Ball to Molly Tolan. Tolan up top. I think that's, uh, looks like Smith. No, it's Alex Abrahamovich back in the game. Number 10. Again, Alex was burdened with three fouls in that first half, so she had to sit in the second quarter. Well, over to Abrahamovich, she takes a jump shot and uh, an offensive rebound by Brianna White and a putback and a miss. But she's going to go to the free throw line for one shot, uh, two shots, my bad. Brianna played volleyball in the fall for the Red Raiders on the junior varsity team. Misses the first. North up 19 points. Make that 20. 30 to 10, North Quincy. Over to Neil Steele attacking the double hand is Fallon Holman. And Molly gets called for a push. That's not his call. He's not supposed to be looking up there. Uh, that's the other official's call who's up top. Cut us off across someone's chest. A deflection. This catch season has catch uh, Sullivan has the ball knocked out of her hand by Tolan. Tolan now has Sullivan. That's a nice play. And North uh, caught sleeping there. And uh, Fallon Hoven picks up another foul. And she's got to be careful. She has either three or four. And I believe this is Alyssa Briggs at the foul line. Alyssa's a junior. Coming out is Brianna White. Nice job, Brianna. And back in the game is freshman Ava Bryan. And she misses the second, but gets her own offensive rebound. And that shot is blocked by Bridget Capone. That should never happen. Nice shot off there by Tolan. O'Brien gets caught on the weak side. Uh, her man snuck in. And that would be number 24 again, Alyssa Briggs. Alyssa Jr. And she makes the first. Cuts the lead to 19. And back in the game for the Red Raiders is Caroline O'Donnell, another freshman. And there's a violation on the shooter. She went in before the ball hit the rim. And there's a timeout called by the Plymouth South coach at the 5.51 mark of the third quarter here. With again, the Red Raiders uh, up 19. Now my guess is that uh, South is gonna have to change something. They have to change their defense. Um, they're really passive in their man-to-man. -man. They were passive in their zone. So they've been known to um, go really get after you. So uh, North has to be aware of that. And uh, handle the pressure and make sure that they don't panic. That's 
Again, uh, timeouts now, uh, not a minute, they're a minute and 15. Again, the uh, extra 15 seconds is to give the kids an opportunity to uh, catch their breath, get some water. And if they want to go down the hall and take their mask off for a couple of minutes, they can, or a minute anyway. So, some of the accommodations make sense. South, they come in on the full court press. And North is going to be in their press breaker. Ball goes over to Abrahamovic. She fumbles it, and the ball gets turned over. Nice recovery by Bridget Capone. Bridget gets um, back in transition very well. She's very quick. So North turns over the basketball out of the timeout. And North is in a zone. Shot is missed. Capone with another rebound. Sleeman drives a lane. Looks like she got hit. No call. Back in there, man to man. And we self play gets called for a double dribble. Nice defense over there by Alex Abrahamovic. Molly Tolan. Over to Sleeman. Back to Tolan. Again, discipline. Not panicking. Very impressive for young players. North gets in their set. Abrahamovich over to O'Donnell. O'Donnell with a jump shot. Wide open and uh, she front rims it. Nice transition basketball by the Red Raiders. And it's going to be off North Quincy. But uh, South had a two on one break and uh, again North had a, did a nice job getting back. Cone has not been out of the game, and neither is Sleeman. What can we do for a rest soon? There's a flash cut across someone's chest. That, uh, shot's missed, and the layup is missed. And North dodged a bullet there. Still up 19. Abrahamovic over to Sleeman. In the corner. To Capone. Nice spin dribble off of uh, the pressure by Sleeman. And there is Carolina O'Donnell drawing the foul. Good strong move to the hoop. She's going to get two. And she front rims it. Caroline's a very good shooter. And she handles the basketball very well. Front rim, back rim, and out. We lost our camera again. And uh, they didn't score, so that's good. Sleeman over to Abrahamovic. Capone on the block with uh, O'Donnell. And it's going to be red rated ball on the sideline, not underneath. There's a substitute for Plymouth South. Catch the number.
Nice dribble drive. Didn't catch any rim. Back in transition. Again, another block. Skip pass taken away. And Tolan gets whistled for the foul. And decision making with the basketball is critical. You don't want to give up possessions without getting a shot off. This is going to be Cat Sullivan, I believe, going to the free throw line for two. No, it's not Cat Sullivan. See the name on her back. And Mary Beth Smith checks in for Caroline O'Donnell. This is Sarah Kenny at the line. And she misses a second. Mary Beth comes down with a rebound and North has another possession. Here we go, down eight, up 18. A little kills with the basketball. Dual maybe a little bit too far out in front. Hoban back in the game for North Quincy. That'll settle things down. Hoban in the corner. Three front rims, and here comes from the south. Stolen by Sleeman. Behind the back. In the corner to uh, Hoban. Nice head fake. Drops it down to Capone. And that ball gets turned over. And there's a foul by, I believe that's Kira Sleeman. So North turns it over and uh, Plymouth South turns it into two points down the other end. And Sarah Kenny at the line again. And she misses. The opponent with the rebound. I'll let the ball over to Kira Lehman. Long pass over to uh, Hoban who misses the driving layup. Offensive rebound by Mary Beth Smith. Hoban, nice head and shoulder fake. And she gets called for a travel. Still in the third quarter. Still a man, man. There's a circle cut. Um, that was too easy. Most defense never collapsed on the uh, ball handler. This is Cat Sullivan going to the line. She has three points so far in the game. Again, she had 19 against Duxbury. And she rims out the free throw. Abrahamovic down low with Capone. Abrahamovic gets the shooter, Capone gets the rebound. There's another three by Hoban. Gets the offensive rebound. And she finds uh, Smith, but Smith got swallowed up. And Hoban. He's gonna go to the line for two on a drive that she got fouled on. And 
misses the first. Now again with 11 points. And makes the second. Molly told him the game. She comes in for Fallon Hoban. Fallon had picked up her fourth foul on the other end of the floor. Oh, nice steal by Molly Tolan. Nice pass. And the ball gets blocked off the shot of um, Mary Beth Smith. Should be Red Raider basketball on the side. South in the zone. Skip pass over to Abrahamovich. Into Tolan to the other corner. And shot misses. Nice steal there on the floor. And there's a block from behind. Looks like Mary Beth Smith had the block. And it's going to be Plymouth South on the alternating possession. Late in the third quarter here. There's a dribble handoff. And that same play they worked in the first, uh, earlier in the quarter, works again. Kira Flynn, she's going to go to the line for two. She front runs the first. South has missed a lot of free throws. They've missed 12 thus far. And she makes the second. We're trying to slow it down. We're at the end of the quarter here. Trying to get the last shot. Pulling up top. Eight seconds to go on the clock. A little Sleeman. And ball. Nearly gets turned over. I'm not sure if uh, Mary Beth Smith got fouled. I think she did. With very little time on the clock. So Smith will go to the free throw line. See if she can get her first points of the game. She has two. Brianna White making her way to the table. And Smith misses the first. Mary Beth, um, an excellent soccer player. Uh, she played, I believe, stopper this year. And we could be moving up to the midfield area next year. Smart player. Samantha Smith, her sister, is up at Hamilton College. And that's the end of the quarter. With the Red Raiders still on top, 31-15. A 16-point deficit for the Panthers from Plymouth South. Not, uh, North, not, not spectacular on offense, but um, they're, they're getting some good looks in their possessions. Now the key here is making sure that when they come down, that they get a good look every time down and not turn the ball over. Because South is going to intensify their pressure and try to make pl uh, North play faster. And North with the 16 point lead does not want to do that. Again, on the uh, defensive side of the ball, uh, North has been phenomenal. Uh, so far in this game, they have held Plymouth South to five field goals. Five field goals in the game, um, which is tremendous defense. 
You can't see the uh, stand that the camera is set up on the stands where the parents sit. Um, this year, the Patriot League made a rule that only two parents could go to a home game. Um, and then JV and varsity. And then when the JV game is over, everybody has to clear the gym. And the varsity parents come in two to a, two to parent, uh, to a player. And then uh, in an away game situation, no parents can go. Um, that's going to be reviewed on uh, January 9th at the uh, AD's meeting. I hope they make a change so the parents who have done all the hard work of bringing their kids back and forth to all the AAU games and travel games can finally get to see their kids play in high school um, in an away game. I mean, right now, North has only five home games out of the 11 that are scheduled, so certainly not fair to the uh, parents of the Red Raiders. So we'll see that if that change occurs on uh, January 9th. I'm hoping it does. Right now, there are about 15 people in the stands um, at the Walter Cap Bryan Gymnasium which holds about 12 to 1,400 people. Your best Smith still in the game. Sporting number 13 this year. There's a little pressure from uh, South. North not getting rattled. They're taking their time. Smith, skip pass over to Kira Sleeman. Hey. Sleeman takes it in, lays up and misses. She may have been hit, and they have a transition for South. And that was a charge, and there was no call. Molly told him stepped in and took a charge, and uh, the enemy official did not call it. And this is South trying to make North Quincy play fast. Here's Mary Beth. Has the weak side wing open. There she is. And there's a shot clock violation. Another empty possession for North. Panthers. Cut the lead to 14. Nice defense by Tolan taking the flash cut away from the weak uh, from the uh, low post. And Mary Beth comes down with the rebound. And North Quincy wants a timeout at 6.29 of the fourth quarter. Still up 14, but uh, this is a critical possession. Next two, we don't want to have it uh, to get down to near single digits. So North wants to make sure that they get a, a good look this time and make sure that um, they get something on the board, either a free throw or a hoop. Go to the free throw line, they've got to make them. Uh, North thus far has missed uh, two, four, five, six, eight free throws in the game. Again, South is a little bit worse. So it could be uh, it could be open night, opening night jitters for North. Um, South has already played a game. They lost again to Duxbury. Um, so this is Salt's second game. And they've both been on the road. After this home game at uh, North Quincy tonight, North will travel to Hanover next Tuesday 
And then the following Friday, they'll be at Pembroke with the Quincy game uh, at Quincy the following Tuesday. So North is uh, going to be road warriors for a little bit here. And Sleeman handling the pressure easily. Hoban being defended by Kenny. It will hand off to Sleeman, back to Hoban. And she gets bumped on the way in. And in the act of shooting, she's going to get two. So that'll send um, Hoban back to the line. And she makes the first. And front comes the second, but gets the offensive rebound. Puts it up and misses. Good hustle by Fallon. Side out of bounds for the Red Raiders. Up to Sleeman. Back to Hoban. Some of the people in the wrong spots. There's Hoban, open look. Turns it down. Hoban in the corner. Here comes a swing over to Sleeman. And uh, there's a foul on the baseline. Bridget Capone gets fouled, I believe. So she'll be shooting a one-on-one. -on -one. She's one for two from the line. Make that one for three. There's a, a basket and a foul. And again, South is slowly creeping back in. Well, struggling on the offensive end. Ava Bryan back in the game, number 15. And that's Cat Sullivan for three point play. South down 12. Nice take to the rim. Missed layup. There's a long three. Catches nothing. Here comes Sleeman. Almost got called for a travel there. Close. Good decision. Kick it back out. And Sleeman up top over Fallon Hoban. Hoban lets go another three. Front rims it. That bounces off the Plymouth South player. And out of bounds. So it will remain North Quincy possession. Taking your time, lays it up, misses the layup. Offensive rebound. I believe that was Ava Bryan. Toland, over to Hoban. Didn't see Bryan cutting. And Hoban gets bumped, a little ticky-tack foul. 
She's going to send Fallon to the free throw line. Again. Fallon makes the first. First points of the quarter for the Red Raiders. Up 13. And misses the second. But almost gets the offensive rebound. Nice job by Sleeman. Pulling the temper up top. Here Brian goes down to the block. Open up top. Over to, over to Brian. Brian into Capone and the travel. Should have been a shot clock violation. Again, North trying to do everything they can to take as much time off the clock as possible. <laughs> Refs getting together to make sure the call the call get, is called correctly. You have the ball in uh, Sullivan's hands more. Coming down the stretch for South. Kenny, not shy, puts up another three. Selena comes down with the rebound. Oh, again, same thing as the first half. The, uh, the wing person was cutting to the basket and Kira thought she was popping out for the ball. The weak side help here, no weak side help. I don't see it. And someone got beat baseline badly. Sleeman settles it down. There it is to Mary Beth. Mary Beth looking for a cutter. Gets the ball over to Ava Bryan. I'm sorry, that was uh, Ava Bryan who made the layup. North up 15. That's Ava's fourth point of the game. Nice steal. Going the length of the floor. Here's Sleeman with her ninth point. North looks a little bit tired. They only have nine players on the varsity bench. They're missing two players, um, one of whom has the virus and one of whom is being uh, very cautious about. Nice back cut by Molly. Toland and a nice find there. Mary Beth Smith with a nice assist. North back up to 19. Mary Beth almost had Brian in the post. Now she has her on outs outside. Swings the ball over to Molly Tolan. Again, for some of these freshmen and sophomores, at first, this is a long one that was uh, ill-advised, but I don't think she had a choice there. She knew the shot clock was gonna go. That was Molly Tolan. Like, again, a short, uh, for freshmen and sophomores, these kids are uh, really very composed and very disciplined. Uh, Brianna White back in the game along with Caroline O'Donnell nearing the end of the basketball game. The 
North is going to win this one. It will be the first time uh, in three seasons that North has won a Patriot League game. So good for them. Missed the layup, and uh, O'Donnell comes down. I don't know. It must have been a jump ball because that was not a foul. Front rims it. Looks like uh, Mary Beth Smith with the basketball. North is not going to shoot the basketball again. And that's the end of the game. And the North Quincy Red Raiders come out on top. 39-20 over the visitors from Plymouth South High School. So, uh, for starters, uh, a, good, a good opener for the Red Raiders. Um, not leading from start to finish because uh, Sarah Kenny had a free throw to start uh, south off. But uh, after that, uh, North um, really dominated the game. For the Red Raiders, uh, Fallon Holman led all scores with 14 points. Uh, Kira Sleeman had nine Ava Bryan, four. Bridget Capone, one. Uh, Molly Tolan, a freshman, had seven. And Brianna White had three. Um, so, again, North Quincy coming out on top tonight, 39-20. A great win for them. And uh, they'll be looking forward to more of those during the season. I appreciate your tuning in. And I hope you uh, join us again on our next broadcast. <laughs>